can you just tell us first of all whether you have completed the deal to sign Vought and whether he'll be available for tomorrow? Uh, I think we are close, um, so he will not be available for tomorrow. He won't. No. Um, just in terms of building up to this game, obviously you played Manchester City once this season and the first half in particular was not great. How, um, how further forward do you think you are now and how better prepared are you to meet a team like that? Uh, it's uh, the question. Um, we have to, to prove that tomorrow on the pitch and there's only one truth, it's always on the pitch. And so uh, quite clear, last time we did well. So we have to do tomorrow better. We know where we have to work on. Um, I, and that it's not only from, uh, it's coming overnight. No, there was a process in the last months where we, where we developed, where we progressed. And now we have now uh, faced it to, against better teams. Oh, we're looking forward to it. And I think that's one of the things is about the mental, uh, mental approach, the mental attitude. So we have to be brave and we have to uh, act with belief and, and play our game. Do you look at the table and think, if we win this game, we'll go a point behind City, that's good, or are you looking at the top? How, how do you view the situation? It's in January and it's a season, it's not even halfway. So where are we talking about? We, uh, so this is the second time we face Manchester City, but um, it's a long way. Um, so it's in this period of the season is about getting yourself in a position you can win trophies in the end of the season and about nothing else so for, go from game to game don't look too far ahead Hi Eric uh, I think after that game against City you you thanked them for kind of showing United where they were I suppose at that point I wonder what was your immediate reaction that night after that match what, what, what do you go through after an experience like that uh, I, I think the same that was my so uh, how I analyze the situation, uh, analyze that game, so that I expressed, as expressed so honestly, um, it was a lesson, and we took the lesson, and I think from that point on we make huge progress. Um, so we have to continue the progress and the process. Can you tell us what you've done to to have? I mean, it's been quite remarkable the, the turnaround in, in the club since that game but also at the start of the season. Can you tell us what you've actually done? You know, it might be boring, I don't know, in terms of like the processes, but how do you get to this point from there? Yeah, maybe it's boring, yeah, but <laughs> I think you, <laughs> but I think things are like that. And I think that game was a setback. It was, uh, you can all find uh, reasons why, but it's not that interesting. It's always about you have to act, you have to deliver. And, but as a manager, as a coach, you know, also yeah, you have to go to certain steps. Huh? You, you, uh, I think you need a clear vision. You need a clear philosophy. You need, uh, uh, you need a clear point where you want to go, a direction, and then it's about develop it. And that's what we are doing, and that's what we did. But yeah, and that's the nice. In I think in uh, many things in life, but especially in top football, there's never an end point. Peter. Eric, you've had a contrasting week. They, you've won eight on the bounce. City lost in the cup. A big surprise, I think, for everybody in midweek. So, good time to play them or a bad time? I don't look, and of course we notice. Uh, that uh, they uh, had a setback, clear. Um, and of course, I've seen so the past weeks many games of them. But we have to look at ourselves. We have to play our best game. Uh, it's all about us. And of course, opponent is always plays an uh, important role in uh, in football. But you have to play your best game. And that is what I demand tomorrow for my players, that they are on the pitch and play their best game together. And togetherness with, uh, with full belief, uh, not naive, uh, but um, uh, come on the, um, on the pitch and um, act as a winner. And 6-3 was, was quite a scoreline in, in October. Do you use that or have you been using that as motivation or, or have you been very keen to park that and, and push on? No, I don't 
it's not about that game anymore. It's about and it's the past. It's about the future. So the past you can't change, and but you can change the future. And you're the fastest manager to 20 wins. How much satisfaction do you take from that? Nah, it tells nothing. It's it's nice, but you deserve nothing for it. It's about uh, what I just said before. It's about uh, winning trophies. And so we are here in a project, and um, so we want to win in this project trophies, and that is what we have to work for, and day by day, give everything you have, um, the players, uh, the staff, so uh, but everyone around this club uh, to win the trophies. Eric, how's the squad looking fitness-wise for the match tomorrow? Um, yeah, I think. Um, Jogo uh, uh, Dalot uh, is not available, and uh, Anthony Marshall uh, he trained this morning, so we have to wait how he's uh, uh, how he recovered from his training and if he's available, and that will be decided tomorrow. Can I ask what the issue has been for Anthony? It, yeah, it's um, it's a small thing, um, so specific in, in his leg, but um, uh, so I will be. Um, uh, yeah, it's better tomorrow or otherwise he will be available for Wednesday, I think. You mentioned, sorry, you mentioned that Diogo wasn't available since the World Cup. You've you've had to change the defence so many times. It's been five different back lines in the six matches. How difficult is that in terms of the challenge of, of getting a, a rhythm and a, an understanding between the players ahead of such an important match? I think we only collected one goal in the last... Uh, <laughs> And we didn't make, yeah, we, we make changes, but I think we were so also quite stable in, in a certain back four. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you talked about the process and what's changed since the last meeting. How big a part of that has Casemiro been? Because he, he obviously just came on as a, a late substitute in that first meeting and only just arrived at the club. How much has, has he played a role? Uh, it's, yeah, that's quite obvious, uh, um, and I s said it from the beginning. Uh, this team, he, they need yeah a six. Hey, uh, uh, what is a six? But I think in in the, what is the definition? Um, so uh, control holding midfielder, but yeah, he's so important. He's so um, uh, the cement between the stones, I would say. But it means so in defending is organization. Uh, his knows his position, anticipating, so pointing players in the right position, um, uh, winning balls for the team, uh, duels winning, but also in possession, uh, he can accelerate and uh, speed up the game. And um, so he's the typical, he has that, um, uh, I'd say, competences. And, uh, to give that to a top team eh, on top level, and there are not many uh, players uh, from this quality in the world, and he's one of them. So we are really happy to have him here on board because yeah, he makes a huge dif uh, difference. You, s you said you need to wait until tomorrow to find out if Martial is available. With Wakehorst not yet here, how much would it change your plans if he's not available? He's not. Wegos wasn't even available in the last weeks, so yeah, it would be um, would be a bonus if if he was. So, but I'm hopefully he will be soon. He will be there, um, and also um, yeah, we, we have also a lot uh, winning a lot of games without Anthony Marshall.